Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your trainer for this MS500 Microsoft 365 Certified Security Administrator course. We just finished module 5. In this video, we are going to do a quick knowledge check on all the things what we have learned in module 5. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Let's look at the first question. Which of the following is an email protection feature in the Exchange Online Protection Service that detects messages with spam or malware that previously went undetected and were delivered to users in boxes? The correct answer is Zap. Let's look at question number two. Which mechanism in the anti-malware pipeline is effective in catching up to 80% of commodity malware coming into Office 365 network? The correct answer is signature-based antivirus scanners. Let's look at question number three. You need to create a policy that will block malicious attachments while delivering the message body to the recipient regardless of a message delivery. Which policy option should you choose? The correct answer is dynamic delivery. Let's look at question number four. What is the term for malware with an unknown signature? Correct answer is zero day attack. Let's look at question number five. Your organization uses exchange online protection and advanced threat protection. What should you implement to enhance your protection against phishing in your organization? The correct answer is safe links. Question number six. You need to modify your safe attachment policies to protect certain users from repeated attacks using the same malware attachments. Which option should you select? The correct answer is block. Question number seven. What is the first line of defense in the EOP, which is Exchange Online Protection and Advanced Threat Protection Anti-Malware Pipeline? The correct answer is IP and center reputation. Question number eight. Microsoft Defender ATP uses which of the following technologies built into Windows 10? You need to select three answers. The first option is cloud security analytics, then threat intelligence, and endpoint behavioral sensors. Let's look at the last question. What type of devices should use Windows Application Guard? Select three enterprise mobile laptops, personal devices, and bring your own devices mobile laptops. That concludes the episode on Module 5 Knowledge Check. In the next video, we are starting Module 6. The first lesson is security dashboard. So I will see you on the next one. Till then, take care.